Hi everyone, this is Will again for Mature Minded Gamers, and today we are going to be continuing our deep dive into each of the characters for Super Fantasy Brawl from Mythic Games, a game that I am looking forward to myself quite a bit. I know a lot of you are as well, and I know we're kind of all screaming for extra content, so this game is available on Tabletopia right now to play. If you'd like, we could always set up a game, join our Discord, and I'd love to run you through if you haven't played it yet. Or, you know, if you're a veteran already, play this on Tabletopia, let's get a game in and let's throw down and brawl. So today we're going to be diving into Wrath, the Stalker Beneath, with zero armor, six health. A very interesting looking mole style character. Basically, I can understand him only having six health. But no armor. Let's hopefully hope he is a little bit fast, a little bit sneaky about positioning and stuff. And what's great about his leveled up side, he does get a little bit extra health. And this is the beauty right here. Wrath's attack gain poison one. So if damage was dealt, and only if damage was dealt to the character, then you would deal this amount of damage right here. So if you got through with two damage, for example, you would deal an extra damage of poison. So Absolutely fantastic. It's basically going to boost up each of, each of his attacks, which can be very helpful. So first up, let's take a look at double dealing an attack card. This gives him two movement, a non-line or a non -line of sight range two attack with two power doing double. So after the damage is dealt, you deal damage yet again. Now what's beautiful about that is each of his attacks gain poison. That is going to be three, and then three, an absolute brutal card, and definitely something you want to steer clear of if you know that Wrath is leveled up. Let's take a look next at the card for Nightshade, a skill card that gives him two movement, allowing him to draw two, plan one. We've seen this before with a card very similar to Darren's. However, the ability for this one is Wrath's next attack this turn ignores defense. So bypassing pretty much everything is if he is already leveled up and you do an attack with Wrath, then it is going to be bypassing all of the defense. This also helps you get in that card you may need to be able to do that big attack card with, with Wrath. And it could be a very useful card to get started with. Next up, we have Stalk Beneath. This is a, another skill card. It is kind of like a melee. Or it essentially is, I guess, a melee. But it deals two damage to an adjacent enemy. If damage was dealt, place Wrath adjacent to an ally. So if it's going to deal damage straight up, if damage was dealt, place Wrath adjacent to an ally. Kind of confused by this one because this is a skill card. You can't react to skill cards. So I'm curious to why they put if damage was dealt. Well, how would you avoid this? So not entirely sure because this would bypass armor because it's just straight damage. It's not power. It's just straight damage. And you're going to deal the damage. So why would it have the if then statement? That doesn't cover, make sense. But so essentially you're going to deal the two damage. And because you're going to be dealing damage, you place Wrath Chase to an ally. doesn't say... You know, pretty much across the board. I mean, just imagine that you're on one side over by creation. You want to get over to manipulation cores and your or, uh, the statue zones, and you want to get zip over there. Well, boom! You just whip down this card, and bam! You have wrath all the way across the board. So, absolutely stellar. One of one of his big movement cards. Get him anywhere he needs to be. All right. Next up, we have Burrow, a melee attack card. And this one is three power. Before the attack, you're going to jump to. And then after the attack, you're going to jump to again. So you're going to dash in with your jump in with two, hit really hard, and then jump out for another two. Pretty much ignoring characters, ignoring traps, just jumping all the way across. Essentially not really even jumping. It's more going underneath the ground. But you get the idea. All right. So next we have sneak attack, an attack card. Gives him two movement, another melee. It does two power, and then reactions cannot be played during this attack. So that could be really, really sneaky with a leveled up Wrath. And you also then use his Nightshade, and then follow that by sneak attack. That could be absolutely brutal, because not only are you going to ignore defense if he's leveled up, 
you can't play reactions. That's just a straight three damage. That's oh, that's just amazing. That's just absolutely absolutely amazing. And then next up we have his skill card called Go to Ground. Gives him plus one armor, and then because basically he's burrowing underneath the ground, he's going to be able to move to, or essentially the keyword called jump, but as we all know, he's burrowing himself into the ground and popping up someplace else. So from a thematic standpoint, really cool what they've done here with Wrath, allowing him to utilize his movement abilities by going underneath the earth. Really awesome. I, I love what they kind of see here. He's kind of like more of the rogue style character where he's going to be kind of sneaking around and doing his thing and getting across the board you know where you don't even least expect him and the bam he's there so a great great addition to certain teams um i would love to see him kind of teamed up more with a tank style character such as dugrin or um i guess more goldar or kilgore this would be a kind of a great combo to be able to deal some massive damage. Or, you know what, even Gwen would could be pretty na uh, nasty in this combo. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of what would be the combo you would love to see. Who, what kind of team do you think that Wrath belongs on? Um, leave the comments in the section below. Uh, we'd love to have a conversation about that. You can even join us on our Discord and play with us. So, um, all right, everyone, that will conclude everything we've got for Wrath, and I will see you guys at the table.